<laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Dungeon Quest video. Oh, wow. It's so different to say that. Anyways, guys, in this video, I decided that I was going to do the Mage Legendary since we did get one. And, of course, with the Mage Armor and stuff. So, uh, we're going to do that, show off the skills, and do a Mage Run in Nightmare Mode in Volcanic Chambers. Everything sounds so different now. It's been so long since the update came out. I'm just... Ugh. All right, let's get into it. All right, and here it is, guys. The Mage Set. It doesn't look like a Mage Set, right? It's weird how it's using dual daggers, but it is. Looks pretty cool, right? Blades, like a football player. Weird crown. Uh, glowing and stuff. Auras on the blades. Let's do it. Open up my inventory. I have a Lava King's Mage Helmet. 842k spell power. And then scroll down. We got the Lava King's Mage Armor. 836k spell power. And then at the very bottom, we have Lava King's Spell Dagger. Okay. And then let's go down to the skills. In this update, yeah, there are four mage skills for us to go through. And there's two from Insane, two from Nightmare. So we're gonna go through the first Insane ones first. First skill, uh, Inner Focus. So Inner Focus is pretty much the mage version of the Warrior 1 Inner Rage. They're both exactly the same. It gives you 80% boost uh, damage, and it also gives you a movement speed boost. Like this, you see? Yeah, it looks cool though. It looks like that one cosmetic particle. Anyways, the next skill we're gonna introduce is Lava Beam Orb. This is really similar to Orb of Destruction. I'm gonna use this fence right here to gauge the range, guys. So Lava Beam Orb, and it hits two targets. So the range is decent. So this does around 6.4 trillion damage without any boosts. Yeah, if I put a boost on right now, obviously it's gonna do more damage. But that's not the point. That's 11.7 with the boost. Amethyst Blast. Fires a piercing Amethyst. Blast way forward. Scales the spell power. And the next skill is Lava Cage. Creates a cage of lava and burns everything inside. So Lava Cage is kind of like a skull flame. And Amethyst Blast is kind of new. Alright, we're going to start with Amethyst Blast. So as you can see, it did 7.2 trillion damage with no boost. And it's a pretty decent range because it hit all three targets. Alright, now we're going to use Lava Cage. It only hit one of them, and it's 1.4 trillion damage. Did like five or six ticks, which is not that great. Let me see how many ticks did it do. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a little bit more damage, but the range is very lacking. So in my point of view, I'm going to just tell you guys, in my point of view, my opinion, I think the Amethyst Blast is the best skill right now to pick up because it has a good range, has great damage. And if you compare it with something like Inner Focus, then we can increase the damage, get super speed, and with a six second cooldown, we should be able to do a run pretty easily. Hopefully, um, pretty much giving you guys an idea of which mage skill to pick up. And you can get the Amethyst Blast in Nightmare. I will, in my next stream, probably try to give out some skills as well since I have a lot of them. Uh, try to help you guys out. Yeah. All right, let's go, boys. Let's go do that solo Nightmare Run. All right, folks, here I am with a mage. Yeah, it's going to be a little tougher. Uh, just because of the fact that I think my legendary is a lot weaker than my warrior. But I do think Amethyst Blast actually does a lot of damage with good range. So, obviously, you guys probably want to see a Warrior vs. Mage video when I get a better Legendary to compare. I will do that when it happens. Oh, let's go, boys. Yeah, I don't remember being able to easily two-shot these mobs on a Warrior. Guys, don't make conclusions, though. It doesn't mean that I think a Warrior is better than Mage or Mage is better than Warrior. It's a pretty cool skill, dude. Oh, whoa, 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 boys. So, I know a lot of you guys who subscribe to the channel is split between two types of content, right? Like, you came to subscribe for either Dungeon Quest, Batman, or you subscribe for Anime Fighting Simulator, which I do a lot of right now. Don't worry, guys. After a few more of these dungeon runs and a few more dungeon videos, after I will get back into random game streams, I will get back into Anime Fighting Simulator. Relax! All right, let's put on Inner Focus. I think it's super necessary for boss fights. It's essential. I mean, you can probably do about, but if you want to get away from some of these crazy lines... You're gonna need that. The first boss is so easy compared to like the rest. Hey, I can do a no hit on the first boss. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I couldn't. I died. I mean, no, I took damage. No! Okay. It was expected. When you have all these searing orbs, you see these extra lines. Yeah, so the more searing orbs there are, the more extra lines you gotta deal with. I, can, I think I said that in my warrior video if you guys watch that. I don't know. Some of you guys are like, one-sided you would never watch a warrior video because you're like a dedicated mage i know some of you you guys are like that a few of you all right let's pick up uh swap back to amethyst blast 
I really like Amethyst Blast. It's really useful. Good range, good DPS, kind of. All right, folks, let's talk a little bit about Dungeon Quest, okay? So Dungeon Quest has been, uh, this update took six months to come. How do I feel about that? I'm not super enthusiastic about a six month dungeon, but at the same time, this was a pretty good, pretty good dungeon for the wait, you know? Was I expecting something bigger? No. But was I expecting something sooner? Yes. But I also know this too, if it's not for Blacksmith, I don't know who's actually building maps. And he and he's in college, so he's pretty busy. But in this way, let's go back a little bit in the timeline, okay? Orbital Outpost took like four months to come. Steampunk Sewers took like three months to come. And then now this one took five months. If I gotta predict the next dungeon, the level 165 Nightmare Dungeon, 160 Dungeon, insane, it's probably gonna take six months if they keep the trend up. Yeah, hopefully they don't. I really don't want to wait till like December or like January 2021 to do the next dungeon. But at the same time, guys, you've seen how Dungeon Quest has been lately. It's still a fun game. I enjoy it. It's still one of my favorite games out there. It's just that, oh man, oh buddy, we need to update a little bit more often or else I'll, I don't know where the players are going. They might be going to Treasure Quest. They might be going to World Zero. I don't know, World Zero is coming out for free in the next like few next few weeks. So that's going to be heavy competition there. Maybe because of competition, though, that VCAFI would update more frequently. So that's what he did for Treasure Quest. When Treasure Quest was a big competition, we got frequent update. I think we got like a dungeon in like three weeks. I mean, I think that's a good thing. Competition is a big deal. I want it to be competition. So it has more, it has better content for us to play as uh, just... Oh my God. Okay, come on. I totally dodged that. But there's one thing I'm really glad and happy for is that mobile players finally got shift lock mode. I didn't really get a video done where I explained the update, but it is something that was added. Like I'm happy for all these mobile players getting getting it because now, I mean, it makes the game more fun. It makes uh, it more doable on mobile. I just don't know why it wasn't done sooner. I, I don't know. Maybe some like Roblox mechanic development stuff. I have no idea. I'm not a developer. All right. So I think I mentioned this in my other video, but I'll just mention it again. At this point, because of how long, you know, the distance is between mobs, it might be smarter to to put on a speed skill. Yeah, maybe after this group, I'll do that. Speed up, boys, speed up. Yeah, if you guys don't have inner focus, definitely come in with, uh, I don't know, an orbital, uh, orbital uphill speed skill. Let's, let's be honest. A lot of people who have been beating the dungeon on the first day, uh, with like and getting all these crazy gear. I don't know where they get them. Uh, I'm not sure dodging skills are like the top 0.01% of players. But then there are also item sellers too. Especially when a new update comes. Like think about all those people like selling these crazy items. No, you shouldn't do it. It's against Roblox terms of service. Please don't do that. You're gonna get banned. Yo, this skill was this skill is good. This is kind of making me want to convert to a mage. Once again, guys, I am not trying to declare which is better. I'm just saying I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this one right now. Come on, come on. Oh wait, you can actually get... I didn't know you can get an orb by soloing. Yeah, because I didn't see it at first when I was soloing on a warrior. Discrimination. <laughs> what a mage hater, this guy. He dropped me an orb. Oh my god, I'm missing. I'm actually not landing my hits. Come on, 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 come on. Let's not die again, please. This is one of the hardest maps ever. This is this is like Archmage from King's Castle all over again, but harder. Oh, there we go. Legendary? No legendary. Uh, well, there he goes. There's the run. 2Q damage. Sorry, folks. Uh, let me just get in a little bit into the update stuff because I feel like I didn't get a chance to do it in in a video. So I might as well just fit it into this one. So what is the updates? Okay, so we noticed there are new boosts. You've probably seen this before. Go click on cart, go to boosts. So this help, this right here really helps for people trying to catch up, but it is pretty pricey. I mean, four hours of boost, that's insane. But the good thing about it is XP boost only tracks time while in dungeon. So you never really truly waste it unless you're just AFKing in a dungeon. Well, that's on you. These are all the cosmetics uh, and I pretty much purchased all of them on Pineapple Sasa. And if you're still wondering why I'm not playing on my main guys, I am literally leveling up. As you folks probably noticed already in our channel, it's changed quite a lot. Dungeon Quest content has kind of been knocked back a little bit where our more, you know, viewed content is anime fighting sim. The rest of the game I've just been a little bit more focused on. And let's go down here to the daily rewards. I don't suggest you guys spending this Robux. Wait, no, not Robux, sorry. You see this? This thing pops up every time. So am I a big fan of this? No, because you can accidentally click and because you can accidentally click this and 
spend 100 robux on getting a daily reward especially right now since it's going to take like three days minimum to a week or two before they update daily rewards to give you volcanic chambers item holy crap this man he got full set all right, with that being the case, guys, I really don't know the direction of Dungeon Quest right now. I mean, there's still Dungeon Quest PvP. I really like that game mode, even though it seems like it's it's a unpopular opinion. But I mean, at this point, guys, we need such a revamp for Dungeon Quest. The only way to make Dungeon Quest grow back to its 40k players, in my point of view, is to make a Dungeon Quest 2. I know this is a far-fetched idea that a lot of you guys might have laughed at in the past, but I really think that's the way to go. All right, I think that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Dungeon Quest right now. Let me know what's your favorite mage skill as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. What? What? Wait! Wait, what?